How are you students? Welcome to our today's class. Our today's class, we are going to talk about uh, area. And uh, first of all, we need to understand what is area. It is known that the area is the amount of space that um, a particular figure or object of occupies within its boundaries. Eh? Like for example, we have got uh, area here, which is actually our topic for discussion today. If you have any figure, whichever the shape, you can be maybe asking yourself, what is the amount of space that is being enclosed by the boundaries of this particular object? When you find now this amount of this particular object that is enclosed here, then actually you have determined the area of that particular object. So basically, Area is the amount of space enclosed by the boundaries of a particular object. The area is normally expressed in the following units. You can find your area maybe in centimeters. And note, the area of any object is always in terms of a square units. So if it is a centimeters, it is going to be centimeter squared, which simply means a uh, it is actually a centimeter by a centimeter for you to get one centimeter squared. So one centimeter squared simply means you measure one centimeter on the length and one centimeter on the width, and then you get uh, the area in terms of centimeter squared. It can be in terms of meter squared, and one meter squared is the same as one meter multiplied by another one meter. So that now you can get the area in terms of meter. But note, it is not always that you are going to have one meter or one, one by one meter. You can have any number here. You can have any number here. The same case applies here and here. But one thing you need to note, the units of area are always in units squared. Units squared simply means that if it is in centimeter, then it's going to be centimeter squared. If it is meters, it's going to be meter squared. Area can also be expressed in kilometers, which simply means one kilometer by one kilometer. If you multiply a kilometer by a kilometer, you get one kilometer squared. It can also be expressed in terms of R, which simply means that one R is the same as 100 meters squared, and it can also be expressed in hectare, which is the same as a 100 R. Those are the units that are used in measuring the area. So you can have any of these in an examination and uh, you need to know how to apply it. Then let us look at uh, area of figures. Huh? Area of uh, figures. And I want us to start with the area of a uh, rectangle. First of all, a rectangle, it is a, a shape of this nature. We have got four sides, whereby the opposite sides are equal and parallel, like this side and this side, they are, their length or their dimension is the same. From here to here and from here to here is actually the same and they are parallel. Parallel meaning that these two sides, even if we can extend them how, however much, eh, they will never meet. Then this side here, it is the same as this side. And you'll note that the longer side is normally referred as the length, and this shorter side is normally referred as the width or breadth. So the area of a rectangle, area of a rectangle is normally given by the length dimension times the width dimension so that now you can get the area. Like for example, if the length was 15 and the width was 10 and they are in centimeter, you will find that now the area is going to be 15 times 10, which will be 150 centimeters squared. That is going to give us the area for this particular rectangle. So basically that is how we calculate the area. But uh, you should also note that in an examination, you can be given the area and maybe the length, but you have not been given the width. Maybe you can be told area of a rectangle 
is 1200 centimeters squared where its width is uh, 400 centimeter and then now you are its, its width is uh, actually let us use 300 centimeter now you are told find the length so you need to come here and say area is equals to length times width in this case the area is 1200 you say it must be the same as the length which we don't know times the width which is 300 therefore 1200 over 300 should give us the length and you should be able to note that uh, it's going to give you a figure there. It's going to give you four or something like that. So you can be asked something like this. It's not a matter of that uh, each and every time you will be asked about the, the area. You can be given the area. Now you need to require or you are required to get the, 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 the one of the sides that is missing. But in this case, you find it is going to be something like this. Actually, it is four, meaning that this is supposed to be actually our our width then this is actually supposed to be our our length so that uh, these dimensions can make sense because we know the length must always be greater than the, the width that is on uh, that is on the rectangle another figure that uh, we can be asked to calculate uh, its area is actually the triangle before we calculate the area of a triangle we need to understand what is a triangle a triangle is an object that has got three sides. It must have three sides. That is what we call a triangle. And uh, the area of a triangle is normally given by a half times the base, base times the perpendicular height. Times the perpendicular height. This word perpendicular height is also very important because a perpendicular height, it is a height that makes an angle of 90 degrees with the base, not any height. So if we have this one as our base, then the perpendicular height, it must be something like this, such that it comes and makes an angle of 90 degrees when it makes contact with the base. So that is how we need to understand this. So if you have this one as maybe 10, and you have this perpendicular height as 8, then you will find that the area will be equal to a half, times the base, which is 10, times the perpendicular height, which is 8, and you will be realizing that uh, this area is actually going to be the same as 40 uh, units square. So in terms of maybe centimeter, it will be centimeter squared. If it is in meters, it's going to be in meter squared. More often, you can also be given a scenario whereby you have got uh, a triangle that is behaving like this, you are told that uh, this is the H. Maybe you are told this is 20 meters. And now you are told that the area of this figure is actually, you are told maybe it is uh, 140 centimeters, sorry, meters squared. Now you are asked, can you find the height or the perpendicular height? You will realize that the area here will be given by a half times the base, which is 20 times the height, which we don't know. And actually that is what we are calculating whereby you will find this one to be 10. Therefore, 140, which is the area, will be equal to 10H. 140, which is the area given, is going to be equal to 10H. So 140 over 10 should give us H, which you find to be 14 uh, meters because the units are expressed in terms of meters. So you can be asked to get the dimension that is missing. We are going to see two more methods that we can be able to calculate the area as we move along with this particular unit. We are going to have the mensuration tool whereby we are going to look at the other two methods of calculating the area. The other object that we are going to calculate the area today is actually the area of a trapezium. A trapezium, it is a figure that has got uh, two parallel sides, two parallel sides, so you are going to have parallel sides, and then you have maybe the perpendicular height, which is the height between them, and maybe a slant like that. So any figure that is having this kind of a shape is normally referred as a trapezium. 
it can also be of this nature whereby these two sides this and this are parallel meaning that they can never meet In the same case this and this they can never meet but we can now draw here a perpendicular height so that we have an angle of 90 at that particular point the area of our trapezium is normally given by a half times a plus b where a and b are the parallel sides where a and b are these parallel sides so we add the dimension and then we multiply by the height which is actually the perpendicular height the height that makes an angle of 90 degrees with uh, this particular perpendicular parallel sides rather so this is our perpendicular so it makes an angle of 90 degrees with those two parallel sides then you need to add the two parallel sides and then you multiply by that perpendicular height and then you multiply by a half so that you can be able to get the area like for example if you are given a trapezium that is behaving or having this shape whereby you have an angle of 90 you have this one is 14 you have this one maybe it is 24 and uh, this one is maybe 8 you are told to calculate the area of this particular trapezium the area will be given by a half into bracket the sum of the two parallel sides remember this side and this side they are the parallel side so we needed to add the year uh, the uh, lengths so it's going to be 8 plus 24 then we multiply by the perpendicular height which is uh, 14 here we are going to have is going to be a half times 8 plus 24 is actually going to be that 2 and then we multiply by 14 this and this will cancel out to have 16 and uh, at that particular point you can be able to multiply 16 times uh, 14 so that we can get the area is 2 224 224 if this one were in meters then this one will be meter squared like that so that is how we can be able to calculate the area of the figures so so far we have covered the area of three figures that is the rectangle triangle and the trapezium i want to go back here maybe uh, a bit and uh, i also mentioned about something small with the area of a triangle the area of a triangle or the formula for calculating the area of a triangle can also be applied in calculating the area of a, of a rhombus, a rhombus, whereby you will be required now to calculate actually the two sides. Remember, a rhombus is like a twisted square. You can be asked to calculate such kind of, a, of an area and uh, you should be able to get it right. So at this particular point, I want to stop there and then we are going to proceed with the other figures in our next discussion. Thank you very much.